hello soulmate welcome back to my channel my name is nelo and you're watching nelo stitches today tutorial i'll be learning how to cut this lovely shirt dress so you've been needing three yards or three and a half yards of ankara for this depending on your size so i made use of three yards of ankara fabric and here is the fabric i'll be working with and this fabric is on fold because i'm cutting the back and front together so i folded into four is on four unfold into four okay so and they are all the same measurements so to know how much fabric you will fold is your biggest measurement divided by four plus extra four inches for allowance for ease okay so my biggest measurement is my hip which is um 44 divided by four is 11 plus extra three inches okay i added extra three inches to my so and you need the length of your shirt also okay so for the length if you watch the picture the thumbnail you notice that we have a gather at the down part of the shirt dress so you have to minus that from the length of your dress okay so the full length of my shirt dress is going to be 41 and then i wanted the down part to be um I want the downside to be 10 inches. So 41 minus 10 will give us 31 inches, right? So this upper part now is going to be 31 inches plus seam allowance of one inch or half inch, okay? So that is what I'm going to do. So here I'm marking my armhole line, which is 8.5. And from that side, I'm going to mark um, my waist measurement, which is 17 okay my waist measurement is 17 and then from the waistline i'm going to mark my hip from the waistline i'm going to mark my hip line so hip line ranges from 8 9 10 okay so for my i'm using 10 inches because i'm on the tall side so next i'm going to mark the length and after the length i'll highlight the lines i marked so that you guys can be seeing it clearly okay so remember i said the length i was um, i worked with was um 41 and then the down part of the flay i want it to be 10 so 41 minus 10 i'll be left with 31 inches so that 31 inches you add your folding allowance or sewing allowance of half inch to it you add half inch of for your sewing allowance to it so that is what i'm trying to explain here and then i'll just highlight these lines for you guys to see so this is my bust my armhole line which i'm going to also use as my bust line so because there will not be that for on this dress so that is why i did not bother marking my bust line okay so here is my hip line nest this is my hip line and then the down part is the full length of the the upper part of the dress okay so like i said i did not mark my bust point because this dress has no that it's just a free dress so i don't need my bust line here i'll use my armhole line as my bust line so next i'm going to mark my shoulder divide by my neck width my neck width i'm using three by three for the neck width of this shirt i'm using three inches wide three inches deep for the front and for the back three inches wide half inch deep for the back okay so here i'm going to mark half inch for the back panel like this okay now i'm going to connect the neck measurement so it's just a round neck so this is the front the back neckline and then i'm going to connect the front neckline like this okay so here is our front neckline and the back neckline and then for my shoulder i'll be marking my shoulder divide by four sorry shoulder divide by two okay so the shoulder i'm working with is seven seven divided by two is sorry the shoulder i'm working with is 15 15 divided by two is seven okay and to that seven i'm going to add half inch for did i say seven 15 divided by two is 7.5 but i'll be marking eight inch half inches for sewing allowance for joining of the sleeve okay 
sorry guys 15 divided by 2 7 plus half inch for sewing allowance okay so i mark i'm marking it right now and then i'll mark the same thing on the armhole i sl slant my shoulder by one inch okay slant my shoulder by one inch and i'll connect that to the neck width like this and after that on the chest line i'm going to mark the same thing i marked on my shoulder shoulder divided by two plus half inch on the chest line okay So here is my chest line, which is my armhole line. So I'll be marking exactly what I marked on my shoulder here. Shoulder divided by 2 plus half inch, that's 8. Shoulder divided by 2 is 7.5 plus half inch, that's 8. So I'm going to rule a straight line connecting from that uh, chest line to the shoulder slant like this. So next, I'm going to take my bust circumference divided by 4 plus one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance so if you want more ease allowance you can just add that so i'll divide this armhole by two what i have here i'll divide by two and then i'll come in by 0 0.5 inch so to curve my armhole i need to take my bust measurement divide by four so my bust measurement divided by four is 9.75 9.75 plus one inch for ease one inch for sewing allowance so you can decide to use one and a half inch for ease so if you're adding one inch for ease you should know that you're automatically adding four extra inches to your measurement if you're adding one and a half you should know that you are adding um five points uh i mean six inches yeah you should know that you're adding extra six inches measurement to your measurement okay so now I'm going to curve the armhole like this. So this is for the front armhole. And I'm going to curve the back armhole. It will meet that point like this. This is for the back armhole. So the front armhole is the one that comes in with half an inch and the back one is just inside but they all meet at the same point, that middle side, okay? So now I'm going to take my waist divide by four plus one, um, two inches, one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance. I'm going to do the same thing on the hip line one inch for ease hip divide by four plus one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance like i said you can decide to increase your ease allowance okay and also your sewing allowance you can decide to add extra for your sewing allowance and on the hip line i'll repeat the same thing hip divide by four plus extra two inches one inch for ease one inch for sewing allowance so whatever i marked on the hip i'm going to do the same on the hemline so i connected with a straight line from the chest line to the waistline so i want to use my curve ruler to mark the hip area you can also mark the straight there is no issue with that so look at it if i place a straight line it's still almost the same thing okay just a little bit of a curve there so here i'm going to just take this down straight okay it's the same thing so i'll just take it straight down like this so you may be wondering why i did not mark my um buttonhole stand and button stand don't worry i'll be doing that on the sewing tutorial so we'll be using another pieces for that okay so you may be wondering why there is no buttonhole stand and um button stand allowance i'll be doing that during the sewing okay so so first of all you're going to cut the back neckline which is the half inch and then the shoulder slope and then the back armhole okay you cut the back neckline first the armhole back armhole first and then you trim out the excess on the side before you can now separate them to cut the front neckline and the front armhole so here i'm cutting out the excess i have here like i said before you can decide to add 
more allowance to yours so now i'm going to separate them to cut out the front neckline so here i'll just take this up like this and then i'll cut out the front neckline like so okay and i'll also do the same for the armhole i'll cut out the front armhole also like this Okay, so we are done with the cutting of our gown so now for the front I'm going to slit open it like so I'm going to open it up divide it into two like this okay so we are going to set this aside and then I will show you what to do next so next is the down part of the dress Remember, we minus 10 inches from the full length of the dress for the gathered area. So here it is. This is the down part. Um, it's more than 10 inch. This is 11 inches. I added 11.5 inch. So you need half inch to fold, one inch to fold here, okay, and half inch at the top part to join it with the uh, upper side. You need half inch. At the upper side to join it with the other side of the dress okay so here the length of this is three yards okay so I decided to use three yards or normally is times three of your hip measurement if your hip is 40 times three will give you 120 okay 120 so here my hip is more than 40 my hip is 44 so i just decided to use the whole three yards of the fabric the down part so i cut out the three yards that is what i'm trying to measure here to show you guys so i cut out exactly three yards that is what i use for the gathers at the down part so but for normal calculation is your your the circumference of that your dress which is the hip plus extra inch for ease the circumference times three okay so here now for the sleeve I, I folded my fabric into four because i'm cutting the two sleeves together so first of all i'm going to mark what i marked on my armhole which is 8.5 plus one inch for allowance okay 8.5 what i marked on my armhole on the dress 8.5 plus one inch for allowance and then from that point i'm going to come down by 3.5 for my cap height 3.5 and then i'll connect to this tip like this so to fold your um your sleeve is your armhole plus extra five if you want it very full your armhole plus extra five inches but mine is not up to that. So, or you just do times three of your elbow measurements where your sleeve, sleeve is going to stop. You do times three or times four of it for it to be full. But what I use here is my armhole, which is 8.5 here. And what I have left here is three inches extra. Okay, so but you can do six to five inches extra and then you connect for you to have a very big volume at the down part. But mine is just extra three inches. Okay. My armhole, which is 8.5 plus extra 3 inches. That is how I fold my fabric. And then you connect from that edge to the armhole. So for the length of the sleeve, the length for the sleeve I'm working with is 13 inches. To that 13 inches, I added 3 inches for extra full and then 2 inches for sewing allowance. The 2 inches, 1.5 inch is for my elastic casing and half inch is for joining of the sleeve to the um, dress okay the sleeve length plus extra three inches for volume extra volume and then two inches for sewing allowance one and a half inch for elastic casing and half inch for joining of the sleeve to the dress so what i just did here now was to measure my armhole and i got 11 and i measured here i also got the same 11 so it's accurate so thank you so much guys for watching and i'll be seeing you in our sewing tutorial please stay tuned and like this video guys please i beg like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next tutorial i love you guys bye